So here we are again, you know, it's a, another fight week. How you feeling and, and how excited are you for this fight? I feel great. I feel great. It's been a, a you know, I've really spent a lot of time uh, just kind of a, in the reinventing process, but been a good good six months. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to just, just have fun and, and uh, enjoy it. And I think that was one of the things that I saw when you were on uh, Junkie Radio. You, you talked about you switched a lot of things up for a camp. You pushed yourself in, in certain ways for this camp that you maybe hadn't done mm -hmm. before. What are some of the things that you've that you've done that you've switched up and that you have been pushing? Yeah, you know, I've been really diligently working with a a guy, Coach Cal, um, Sam Calavid. He's really a kind of a, more of a conditioning guy, but um, he he really there's kind of your you know what, what you think you can do and like like, like you're perceived uh, uncomfortable, and then there's really a whole new a whole new level. So. You know, just, more than anything, just you know, this, this, some of the guys I'm training with too. There, like TJ Dillashaw, you know, Juan, Aaron Pico. Like, there's there's guys that are pushing me to a new level, and, and uh, you know, really, it's, it's uncomfortable. You know, nobody likes to, to put themselves in the in the black, they call it. But <clears throat> you learn a lot about yourself when you do. So it's really, yeah, it's been it's been kind of one of those um, learning. You know, learn learn a, learn a lot about yourself and and uh, in, the, in the whole reinventing process. But you know, I, I've I've enjoyed. It. I've put the work in and. and I, it makes me, 15 minutes is nothing from some of the stuff we've been doing for, you know, a couple, two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, I think that kind of builds on, because you had said that the, the confidence that it builds in, because you've been having now, what it sounds like in this training camp, all these individual battles where you push yourself and maybe have figured out that, oh, I can go further than I've ever learned. So now, mm -hmm. going in the mm -hmm. fight, it's just a matter of just coming and showing up, right? Because you've already done the hardest battles up to this point. Right. And psychologically, it's, it's always you versus you. It's, it's interesting that any one-on-one... -on -one combat sport it's, it's you versus you know how, how hard can you push yourself how um you know how well, how well can you say disciplined in in the fire in the fight in the in the hardest part the most uncomfortable parts but you know everyone everyone reacts differently and and really that's what that's where confidence comes from it's just if you've done it there's there's no way of getting to that level of confidence and unless you've done it unless you put yourself in that that i've been broken i'm you know you're like i, I couldn't tell you how many workouts i've done with a with Sam, where I've been, you know, laying on the ground, just, just faced, like, just because you're so, you're so exhausted, because you have this perceived level limit um, in yourself, and then there's, you actually can do so much more than you think you can, and it's just something you got to learn, and, and there's no way to really learn that, and then just without going through it. So, so if you had to compare where you are now, to maybe earlier in your career when you had a lot of great success, mentally, are you in a whole nother level now than when you were? back then absolutely yeah no no doubt no doubt i, I think um yeah there's there's a lot of positives a lot of things good things that come out of experience but uh you know one of the things is is just ment mentally being you know be being forged being forged mentally and and, and the training you know the training is really what's gonna show in the fight and then coming in got a couple losses you know but you're coming in are there any extra pressure to get back onto the winning side, or is it just make sure you want to come out and just perform good for this particular fight? Like I said, it's it's always you versus you, you know. And it sounds it's it's really a deep thought because it's it's you look at a fight's one guy versus the other. It's really not. It's really you versus you. And like I said, um, everybody has their has their limits. And unless unless you put yourself there and you know, like I know what's going to happen. When I hit when I hit the wall or when I red line, I already know how I'm going to react because I've been there. I've done it for six months. So yeah, there's, there's no no question about what's going to happen. You know what I mean? So it's like I said in my in my battle in, in my fight, it's 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 just me versus me. Well, in this particular case, you are going in fighting against a tough vet as well, and and Ben yeah. Saunders. But break him down for us a little bit. Where where do you see his main dangers, and what sort of things are you expecting to come in from him? You know, I've, I've watched a lot of his fights. Um, we, we were scheduled at one time to fight. I don't know if, if a lot of guys remember that, but that was uh, some time ago. Um, yeah, he's, he's coming with experience as well. I think he's he's shown that he can be uh, he's dangerous on the ground. There, you know, there's areas that I have to be a lot more aware. Um, he's tall. He's long. There's some there's some things that uh, you know that we've been working on. But uh, you know, my focus has been so much of of, of myself and, and pushing myself and and, and really just bringing the best out of me, but uh, yeah, if, you know, for either, no doubt that I'm ready. I'm, I'm, it's exciting. Like I said, I'm excited and uh, gonna have fun. Now, you know, you were originally supposed to fight Brian Barberena, and now you're fighting Ben Saunders. Uh, when you get that call that you're fighting Saunders, is there any real adjustments that you have to make on your end, or are you just kind of a guy that likes to focus on what you're doing, Jordan, what he's gonna bring? 
for you know from a uh, strategy wise there is you know different styles different uh obviously different builds different uh, body type but uh, both you know both guys have a little bit different strengths too it's, it's one thing preparing for a guy who's a more of a wrestler a, a gritty kind of grinding guy which um that you know that i'm more more so used to and there's guys that are you know more technical more uh, strategic like ben but uh you know, yeah, so, so as far as strategy, there's a little bit different, but as far as, you know, preparation in, in uh, for me, for me being at my top of my game, not not really, you know, just some small adjustments. I asked Ben this question, and he gave me an answer, but uh, in your opinion, do you think this fight's going to go the distance? You guys are both guys that like to, you know, are do or die fighters. Um, he said he doesn't think it's going to go there. Would you agree with him? I, I don't think so. I doubt it. Yeah. He, you know, he's, he's, he's probably right. I don't know if it's going to, I don't think it'll be going the way he's going to think it will be, but uh, yeah, I, I doubt it. I doubt it with the distance. Is fighting still fun? It is. You know, it, it's, it's funny you ask that because it, it, it's a question that I think a lot of guys got to continually ask themselves if they enjoy what they do. And, and I, you know, taking a little bit of time off has really kind of helped me refocus. And I think that. I really, I really kind of found myself again, and, and I enjoyed training. I enjoyed what I was doing. I, I enjoyed you know, every every day of the week, you know, getting excited to go to practice, getting excited to go to training, and uh, I do. I, I really enjoy it. I really love it, and you know, to be again to, to stay on, to stay on the top the top of your game, you really you really have to. And uh, it is. It's, it was good to take a little time off, like I said, but it make it made me even in, enjoy it and kind of take a step back and really. Uh, you know, look at look at what I get to do and and uh, and have fun, and enjoy it again. So you know, that's what a lot of what it's about is. You gotta ha you gotta have fun. You gotta enjoy it. And if you're not, then it's it's time to move on. And is the goal eventually to get back up to that title shot, or is it just about making sure that you're having fun, that you're getting better, and that you're having just good fights? I mean, is that what the end all goal is, or is that not what you think about right now? Yeah, right now it's 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 been so much about me and kind of shifting around the, my foundation refocusing like well, you know what 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 am i do what got me here what got me into the top five I, i've been there and so right you know right now it's one fight at a time but uh like i said I, I, it's been a long road reinventing myself and and i think it's going to show friday but like i said right now it's it's one fight at a time all, all i'm focused on is friday night